Hello rogues, welcome to Rogue Report, the Rogue Company news channel. So today on Reddit, someone posted a image of the next battle pass unlock screen, which doesn't show everything in the battle pass, but it shows some of the best stuff. So I'm gonna go through this, and we're gonna look at every skin, every wrap individually. And this battle pass is looking solid. From the first look, I can already tell you that the skins are looking amazing, the wraps are looking pretty good, and the, the entire aesthetic of this seems to be, um, like, fancy dress, you know, like, all fancy and posh and, and uh, expensive clothing. So, first we have this Lancer skin, which has been teased before in leaks. However, it's been quite a long time ago since we've seen the skin. It looks like it's finally being released for the level 50 skin for Lancer. Um, personally, I hate Lancer and anyone who plays her. Well, not really. I, I, don't, I don't hate you if you play her. I hate you if you play her, you're toxic when you're playing her. But, yep, the Lancer skin is the tier 50 skin. However, I much prefer the Rowan skin, the Juke skin, and the Trench skin. So we can see Trench is wearing some sort of fancy coat. And it's got like the gold metal gloves, and then a little bit of red uh, right under the clothing, and a gold chain, and the glasses. He is looking amazing. And now we have Juke, who is our latest rogue, getting a new skin. She's got a golden coat, and some different pants, and she is looking amazing. I think this, or the trench skin, may be my favorite skin. I really can't decide. I think the trench just barely wins it over for me, but the juke skin looks pretty nice. And none of these are recolors, uh, like we got in the last battle pass. These are all completely new, completely unique skins. We have Fame Fatal Ronin, which everyone has been waiting for. However, we do not see the Switchblade skin in this battle pass, at least so far from this screen. Uh, usually there are four skins in the battle pass, so we can probably expect the Switchblade skin to be purch purchasable in the store. We also have some new wraps here, uh, like a gold and cheetah print wrap, and some sort of pink flower wrap, which looks like they're kind of recycling ideas, because both these wraps kind of exist in game already, but it looks like a variant where instead of just the, the cherry blossoms, there's also uh, red that goes along with it, and instead of just a cheetah print wrap, it has like a gold aesthetic on the magazine and the front of the gun. And so I'm not particularly excited about the basic wraps, but this exotic SLC wrap, you can see like a cassette cassette tape in it. Uh, got a little bit of like blue and purple color and a little, it looks fairly close to the normal SLC uh, as far as the front and the grip and uh, the stock from what I can see. But this doesn't give us a complete picture um, the stock's cut out, so maybe the stock looks different. Um, I don't think this will be the best weapon wrap, or the best exotic weapon wrap of all the battle passes, but it's not bad. I like it. I like the colors, I like the cassette tape. It may play music for all we know, but we still we, we still don't know what's gonna what's gonna be coming with this uh, exotic wrap, what effects it may have. So we're just gonna have to see for that. Next we have this nice golden wingsuit. I really like this. I'm probably going to be using it in-game because I do like the gold accent on a lot of skins, which is why I'm kind of drawn to the Juke and the Trench skin because they look very nice. And we have like a purple fancy wingsuit here. Uh, it's a different model than the normal wingsuit, but we have seen it on other wingsuits before. Just a different color scheme, which uh, I also like this as well, but I think I might prefer the golden one to this. But yeah, that's pretty much all we have as far as leaks. Um, it is in Russian uh, because it was found by someone's Russian friend on a Russian server. And also, um, thank you to whoever put this link in Reddit. I'll put the Reddit post in the description below. Uh, this is not my image. Uh, it is a leak from someone else. So I will credit him and put it in the description so you can check out the post for yourself. Um, that's not all though. Scott Gandhi has officially announced on Twitter and the official Rogue Company Elite Twitter that the NDA has been dropped for mobile, mobile gameplay. So if you are in the Rogue Company mobile beta or you want to be, you can sign up right now. I'll put the tweet link in the description where you can sign up. 
and you can go check it out. There's going to be another playtest very, very soon. So join the playtest if you want. Um, you sign up for it and enjoy because Roco Mobile is truly an amazing experience, and uh, it, it's 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 probably the best mobile game I've ever seen. To be honest, uh, it, it does Rogue Company very well, but it does it differently. So you all will really enjoy it. Um, so definitely, definitely go give it a try. The NDA has been dropped, so you're probably going to find videos on it very, very soon. That's all I have for this video. Um, I'm going to be slowing down on uploads, uh, as I said on my Twitter, because school has started back up again. So I may do a video from time to time, but I will be slowing down uh, for now until, you know, I can find the time to do this consistently. But I, just so you know, this is pretty much all the big leaks or big news uh, that I know so far. If another big leak comes by, I'll most likely make a video on that, find, find some time to make a video on it. So that's all I have for this video. Please subscribe to me for World Company News, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!